so it's all making sense now. If you've listened listened to enough uh, messages, it should be all making sense. The way you predict the future is look around you what's happening right now and look at the past. Look at the past, look at the now, you see the future because everything is deja vu. You put your shoes on yesterday, you did it today. You're going to do it tomorrow. You brush your teeth today, this morning, you're going to brush them at night when you get home. You know a person's character, unless God changes them, you know what they're going to do. People don't change unless God changes, unless they really do the work, you know. Personalities, repeat. Situations, repeat. Situationships, repeat. Same game. Now, Donald Hoffman, the mathematician, said that 3D world is mainly just for reproduction. You don't you don't see outside of 3D unless you get saved and become spiritual. <clears throat> but 3D is just for a reproduction. Birthing in sons of God with the gospel is giving out the seed of the word of God to the womb of your heart that you might be born again. And that spiritual birth is typ typified in childbirth. <coughs> so when you go to your job, you're in reproduction mode. The farmer's in reproduction mode. Everything's a reproduction. If you talk to one feminist, you talk to them all, you'd already know how she thinks. A feminist is a feminist no matter where she lives because it's rooted in Genesis 3. Home Depot and Lowe's, if you go in Home Depot and Lowe's, you're going to probably see the lumber on the right-hand side uh, every time you go in the store. What's that about? Why is the lumber on the right-hand side of the store in Home Depot and Lowe's? Hello. <laughs> There's a pattern. They found out the best pattern. Man is a mankind approaches the the most efficient, best pattern that he can come up with to reproduce more efficiently. Now the base nature creatures, they don't even know what you're talking about. Base nature creatures, they just they just they just get up because their God is their belly. They they worship themselves, and it's not about making things more efficient. They're just I don't know. But you got some prophets. So when God shows up on the scene, and a person gets saved, and uh, they become spiritual. Then you got some, uh, just like in the Old Testament prophets, and you got the New Testament saints. Then you see outside of this 3D. Then if you keep digging, you'll God will reveal it to you that this 3D is a it's going to burn up, right? So if anything's going to burn up, it's temporary. If it's temporary, it's a simulation. Place is going to be this place is going to burn up. If you think about it, all we know is reproduction down here in the 3D. That's all we know. 
washing your clothes, washing your dishes, eating, <clears throat> going to the grocery store, uh, fix your car, go to work, shuffle some paperwork, make a few phone calls, make a few sales calls, deliver something, pick up something. It's all, that's all we know. Even talking to somebody, sometimes that feels like labor. You're trying to explain a point. You're trying to explain a point. Out, plain, make it plain on the outside. You're taking the inside and pushing out the baby on the outside. You're trying to birth in a concept when you're talking to somebody, but most people don't even think. Explain out push to make it plain push out the baby to make a concept plain how many years have I been recording some people got saved some people got some insight some people see life different some people hopefully escape their depression and their negativity and Questions. Most hope my my whole goal was to answer the quest the deep questions that people ask. You know, there's a lot of questions people ask. Even in the Bible, they say, "What does that mean?" Walking in the Spirit, faith alone. The battle that we're the battle that we're battling. The devil system is a works based system, and so that's all we know down here. So God is saying, "Hey, it's faith alone," because Jesus. Because you're a sinner, and there's only one way out, and that's faith. And it's contrary to everything that we know. And that's why it's hard to get saved. Because you're being brainwashed. Work, 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 work. Labor, labor, labor. Do, do, do. Do this, do that. Honey, do list. Touch not, taste not, handle not. Go here, don't do this. Rule-based living. Law, we're under a blue sky. Blue letter law sky. The sky's blue because it represents the law because the flesh is nothing but sin. That's why the clay bodies have to go to the grave six foot under, six, six, six. F. F. Man is F'd in his flesh. He goes six foot under, the letter F. He F'd up, so he's got to go F six foot under. And the body has to be typify how far how deep it is has to typify what he is the 666 from your elbow to your fingers is a cubit and the cube is a 666 flesh mind unfold the cube you get the cross but most people are stuck in the cube and they'll never escape the cube because they're under a works based system because that's all they know you keep, they can't see outside this place and and you know they're in survival mode which I understand the only way you're going to break free from survival mode is cut off the noise. Cut off the TV, cut off the music, and get out of survival mode. Everybody's, everybody's worried about 3D just to survive, but they're not thinking about 5D when it's right in front of them. Some people experience hell on earth. Some people experience heaven on earth. Depends on your perspective. Have you got saved? Are you resting in Jesus? Are you trusting? Are you trying to be good enough? There's people still trying to be good enough, to people pleasers, trying to be good enough to meet up to somebody's standard that they can't even meet. There's people out there. I'm, I'm still in shock. The more I talk about it, it's like it should have already been. We should have already broke that pattern, but it's still going on. Trying to meet somebody else's standard. looking at this truck go down the highway with one two three four five ten wheels and they're all turning and uh, he's traveling which means travail he's got a load on the back of his truck load is labor you know he's traveling travail is labor laboring in birth pains to get to his destiny his destination and so that's what's happening here you're going through a cycle repeat until you get to your destiny the truth is 
encoded right in front of us. The objects are object lessons, and the word is the, the words that we speak. They're the hologram, and when a witch or a warlock or somebody around you who's demon possessed, they're gonna. If, and the Bible talks about the accuser of the brother, right? So you unfold that word, or you uh, expand that word two or three levels deep, you'll still, still see the word accuser, but it's a different word. And so when they're trying to accuse you, they'll use different words to try to hide that they're just the accuser of the brethren. So this is a this is a wordsmith game down here. The words are being used to, to try to get you to think a certain way. Mind games, word games, crossword puzzle, the cross and the word, that's the puzzle. Neuro-linguistic programming, that is a thing because words are the hologram. The only reason that could be a thing is because you're in a holographic reality based on the words. Your body is a shape, your body's a word. This car is a word. The signs are a word. The shapes, the symbols, the colors, everything is a word. And so when you wake up, the fact that you're in a holographic reality that's a word, that's based on the words, out of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? Life and death in the power of the tongue. Words are real. Words are holographic projections. You have to even, even the mathematicians, like I talk, they have to use words to describe, describe, off scribe. They have to use words to describe their math. So what's what's more, what's greater, math or words? Words. Words are the basis of this reality.